Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now we're going to be taking a look at how the iPhone SE first generation has held up on the latest beta of iOS 14, Developer Beta 4. Now before we get into the video, as always, if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure that, that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with more content just like this. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot. Anyways, let's get straight into the video iOS 14 Developer Beta 4 released earlier this week bringing a new TV widget, exposure notification to have on the main settings page, plenty of tweaks, and of course many fixes. Now we saw a few fixes for the weather widget, the return of 3D touch for compatible devices, the ability to use exposure notifications on iOS 14, app library section header corrections, and many other fixes. Performance while running iOS 14 Developer Beta 4 on the iPhone SE has actually been great. Apps launch quickly and web pages load up fast, for example. Now, RAM management has been fairly decent considering that the iPhone SE only has 2GB of RAM. Now, most apps can stay open for a decent amount of time, although I have had more frequent reloads on iOS 14 Beta 4 than in iOS 13. This is a beta, so I can't say I'm too surprised, and I'm definitely not worried about it. Now, animations have also been incredible. Ever since updating to Beta 4, I've noticed that animations such as swiping asset access the notification and control centers, opening and closing apps, using the quick actions menus, and closing apps with the multitasking screen, etc. have all been incredibly smooth. Now, before I get into battery, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone SE is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 91% and has had a restart. Now, I have manually disabled performance throttling in settings, meaning that my iPhone SE is not being throttled to maintain battery life and prevent restarts. Battery life on the iPhone SE while running iOS 14 Developer Beta 4 hasn't been the greatest, at all. I've noticed a significant battery drain coming from Beta 3. I'm actually able to watch the battery percent drop by ones by the minute. Now, I can't say this comes entirely as a surprise due to the beta aspect, the fact that this is an aging phone with aging hardware and my maximum battery capacity, but I hope to see an improvement with the next beta, Beta 5. Now, standby time has been pretty typical for a major beta. I'll notice a drain of about 12 to 15% overnight. Now, again, this is pretty much typical for a major beta, and we should see this start to come around in time for the full release of iOS 14 later this fall. Now, after updating iOS 14 Developer Beta 4, I have noticed significant overheating no matter what I'm doing on the phone. This is something that seems to be shared across all iPhone models as it happens on my iPhone 7 and my iPhone 11 as well. Many others seem to be experiencing more overheating with Beta 4 as well. Now, of course, for the main question, which is should you update? Well, my answer is pretty simple. If you're on any earlier version of iOS and you're not comfortable installing beta firmwares, then don't update. If you're on an earlier version of iOS and are okay with installing beta firmware, or you're on an earlier beta of iOS 14, I'd say there really isn't a reason not to update. Overall, iOS 14 Developer Beta 4 is a very stable beta release, with the worst issues being overheating and battery drain. Beta 4 brings many promising fixes and improvements. Now stay tuned for my full review of iOS 14 Developer Beta 4 on the iPhone 7 coming tomorrow. As always, if you do have any questions or you just want to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, of course, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot. It's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the Ice Cool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.